So what's good TMG fam, it's your boy Ellen, I'm back. And man, this video right here, astronomers have just discovered a huge structure appearing at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. All right, so I get hyped, y'all already know that. I feel like I'm uncovering information that's been hidden from me for generations, right? Even though I know it wasn't hidden, it was right there in plain sight. I just wasn't looking for it and paying attention to it. But now I am, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm telling myself. But anyway, we're going to check this out. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Let's go. There are mysteries all around us, and we are fascinated by what we cannot understand. Inexplicable phenomena are discovered every day, keeping our curiosity piqued, and the prospect of knowing the world around us a foreign concept. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be exploring three fascinating discoveries taking you from the heart of the Milky Way to the unearthed ancient Egyptian practices from many millennia ago. Wow. Astronomers find barrier objects at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Not a huge amount is known about the center of our home galaxy, the Milky Way. It is located 26,000 light years away from Earth in the Sagittarius constellation and is densely populated. 26,000 light years. So anything we see, just think of the distance, bro. Just think of the distance. 6,000 light years away from Earth in the Sagittarius constellation and is densely populated with stars, featuring 1 million more stars per light year than anywhere else in the whole of the solar system. But now a recent discovery has led astronomers to think it may be even weirder than we ever imagined. This finding emerged following a study conducted by the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Nanjing, where it seems as though some phenomenon is stopping fast-moving particles from reaching the center of the Milky Way. Not only are these particles fast-moving, but rather the fastest in the universe, making it all the stranger. The hmm. team used radioactive gamma rays, as they are the fastest, most energetic form of light possible, and are formed when high-speed cosmic rays collide with ordinary matter. While these rays cannot be seen with the naked eye, scientists can measure the density of these rays and particles to determine their whereabouts. Therefore, by using these gamma and cosmic rays, the Chinese team mapped the paths and presence of each. What they found was that towards the center of the Milky Way, there seemed to be something accelerating the speed of these rays, so much so that they come very close to the speed of light itself. However, while this creates lots of these rays just outside the center of the Milky Way, for some unknown reason these rays do not make it to the actual center of the galaxy. Given the speeds at which the gamma rays travel up to this point, the fact that they do not penetrate through to the galaxy's core is bewildering, to say the least. There is no explanation detailing why this happens. However, researchers are calling it the invisible barrier, which they believe must be so dense and surrounding the center of the Milky Way that cosmic rays struggle to get through it. At present, this is the best explanation we have, but it will be fascinating to see what further explanations they come up with for this mystery barrier at the Milky Way center. Wow. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope found a galaxy with a lopsided appearance. The 31-year-old Hubble Space Telescope, although reaching the end of its reign and soon to be replaced with the newer James Webb Telescope, is still providing invaluable insight into the cosmos for us. Using data from the Hubble Telescope, the European Space Agency has found that the spiraling NGC 2276 galaxy is being twisted Deformed and pretty much mangled by the gravitational forces exerted by its neighboring galaxy, NGC 2300. As such, it no longer retains its original shape, and now appears lopsided and out of shape when observed. It appears gravity is not the only culprit, though. Additionally, this galaxy's misshapen appearance may also be down to the superheated gases which are highly present in galactic clusters. When looking at a picture of the galaxy from the Hubble telescope, you can see its asymmetric appearance. It once used to be a typical spiral. Some of its arms are now That's what I was just about to say. It gives off like, what, what, what did we all just witness happening with Florida? Hurricane Ian, right? Looking at that, we saw different views and different things on the news, right? 
this gives me that vibes. You know what I mean? It has an eye, the outer layers of it, and everything like that. It just gives me like Hurricane vibes. You know what I mean? I don't know why, but just standing here staring at this picture. You know how people go to museums and they sit there and they stare at the the artwork from the artist and they they get from it what they get from it. That's what I'm getting from this. Appearance. It once used to be a typical spiral. Some of its arms are now elongated and almost stretched out of place. Not only this, but typical of most spiral galaxies, the Milky Way included, usually finds a bubble of orange stars highly concentrated in the center of the spiral. In the case of NGC 2276, this is slightly skewed and off center towards the upper left. NASA also reports that as well as NGC N300 pulling outwardly of the spiral's arms, the intensity of the parts of the affected galaxy could be due to excessive star births and formations. They guess that this could partly be the result of previous collisions with a dwarf galaxy, triggering a wave of newborn stars. Other theories propose that black holes and neutron stars could have been a factor. It's quite cool. That That's what I was thinking about earlier when he was talking about the lights being uh, bouncing off of some type of object or some type of field or some type of something that's there repelling it. I was thinking, what, what about maybe a white hole or some kind of black hole that's drawing it to it, but when it gets there, that barrier is stopping it. I don't know. That was what was in my mind earlier. Pose that black holes and neutron stars could have been a factor. It's quite cool that gravity, which we accept as normal on Earth, can have such a huge impact on galactic structures out in the depths of the solar system. In fact, it's recognized so widely as being an incredible phenomenon that galaxy NGC 2276 has made it into the Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies, both now and back in 1996. Garbage dump found in ancient Egyptian tomb dedicated to fertility goddess. A so-called garbage dump has been found in the grand temple of the Pharaoh Hatshepsut all dedicated to the Egyptian goddess of fertility, Hathor, it is thought by archaeologists. Found during a project to explore Hatshepsut's temple by a team of Polish archaeologists, the intention had been to reconstruct one of the temple's tombs when they stumbled upon the heaps of trash. Perhaps seeming like garbage today, the piles and piles of offerings were once prized objects, figurines and gifts befitting a goddess. It is reported that some of the figurines were painted a stunning shade of blue, complete with breastplates and other intricate details. Today, upon finding them, we can study them as artifacts for further insight into ancient Egyptian culture and norms from millennia ago. The site found within this temple, near to Luxor, home of the Valley of the Kings, dates back to being an early Middle Kingdom tomb. However, many of the objects found within the dump date so far as the New Kingdom, which spans the 18th, 19th and 20th dynasties which ruled over Egypt from the 16th century BC to 18th century BC. This makes the objects an estimated 3,500 years old, and wow. potentially 500 years older than the temple itself. Such offerings to the goddess Hathor are telling choices. She was once the goddess of the sky, women, love and of course, fertility. It is also thought that she provided food and drink to the afterlife once they passed along to their next spiritual world. Despite the artifacts clearly being holy offerings, the sheer volume of essentially discarded objects does also lead archaeologists to believe that the site was treated a bit like a dump site as opposed to a dedicated place of worship. It is further disrespectful in my opinion. Just That just seems, and I, and I hope that wasn't the case, you know what I mean? And maybe we gather some wrong information about it, but just hearing that information, that just comes off as like very disrespectful. They believed that local caretakers of the temple may have had to move some of the offerings to a different location as the site got piled too high with deity offerings. The temple itself was a magnificent place of worship. Hatshepsut was the first female pharaoh of the male-dominated ancient Egypt, and the temple's erection in her name was a necessary assertion of her dominance at the time. It was used for all kinds of worship and was decorated with portraits of herself and the gods. We are still in the process of constantly discovering and learning about things so important about our own history, as well as stories unfolding thousands of light years away.
And that's why these things should be treated with a lot more care and respect, man. This isn't just some, some random stuff you're coming across and finding. This is your history, bro. You know what I mean? Have a little bit more respect for your history instead of treating something like just a dump site. But what do you make of these three interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Yeah, I tip my hat off to archaeologists, bro, because you have they they have to 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 when they do discover something, handle it with care. They have to understand that the entire site that they're in, it, you know what I mean, could potentially be a part of what they're discovering. So everything has to be meticulous. It has to be handled with care, precise, precision, like with kid gloves on. You know what I mean? So I always tip my hats on them because what we get is the finished product. Everything else that goes into it, we don't always necessarily see. So it's a lot more work that goes in than we actually see. You know what I mean? But astronomers discover what appears at the center of the Milky Way galaxy, man. A lot of a lot of different things, bro, that it's just hard to understand or what could be going on here with the galaxy, the Milky Way. You know what I'm saying? Gravity, black hole could be something to do with it. All of that type of information, bro. It's it, exciting. It's it's just exciting. You know what I mean? How, how have you guys been enjoying the content as far as what you guys are hearing? You know, I've seen comments from people who are in this field and actually are happy that somebody's covering this. You know what I mean? So they have somewhere to go. It's not too many people that are covering it. You know, a lot of people are just doing either music or scary things. And I told y'all a long time ago, bro, I got, it's, it's my ADHD, bro. I have to be all over the place. So I'm glad you're, you're rocking with me. You know what I mean? And I appreciate y'all. So y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what you think and stick around and stay tuned. Till next one, I'm gone. Peace.